Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. But does that mean that our Lord wants our tabernacles to be made out of cardboard and our chalices plastic cups? Stay with me to the end and see what today's liturgy has to tell us. For ourselves, poverty and disattachment from the things of the world. But for our Lord, all pomp and all glory. Salve Maria. My name is Father Timothy and welcome to our Sunday Reflections. Today is the feast of the most precious body and blood of our Lord, the feast of the Holy Eucharist. Before beginning, don't forget to comment, to like, to subscribe, and to share. Today, we see our Lord institute for us the greatest of all sacraments, in which He gives Himself to us. He gives Himself to us. He, who is God, He wanted to be at our side, while each and every one of us were to carry His own cross up to our own Calvary. He wanted to be with us, accompanying us, giving us support until the day when each and every one of us will, on our part, render our spirit and say like He did from the height of the cross, all has been consumed. This precious sacrament, the most precious gift that could ever been given us, that only a God could think of. We must rever, we must have reverence for, we must love. And our Lord, He could have instituted this Holy Eucharist. He could have instituted it on a field, on the brush grass, on the grass, just as when He multiplied the loaves and the fishes. He could have, have left, had the Last Supper in a tent. But He prepared everything. He told His disciples where to prepare the Pass, Passover feast. And He said that the owner of the house would show them a large room decorated with cushions, furnished with cushions, a room where there was much splendor and glory. Our Lord wanted this sacri sacrament to be instituted in pomp and glory. So we must give to Him all riches, all glory. That is how we should be in our days when the Most Holy Sacrament is despised, is forgotten, is locked up. These should be the days in which our devotion must flourish as never before. So let us not be those who, when heretics speak against the Blessed Sacrament, we try to please them by no longer having devotion to our Lord Jesus Christ, much to the contrary. Our devotion must flourish. So may you, may your devotion be ever more fervorous. May it be fiery. And may this devotion give you a great union to Him through our Most Blessed Mother. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Thanks once again. Come back next week. And Salve Maria.